What's going on gamers? It's Roll Easy and I'm back today with another solo car duplication glitch, another money glitch for you guys to take advantage of right now. It is Friday. Hopefully they don't touch it and we get to have it the whole weekend and have practice with it because this thing is very unstable. This glitch is not consistent whatsoever, but it is very simple to do. You just got to be kind of lucky, I guess, to see if it works or not. It'll work eventually, you know, but it does take a few tries. Don't be discouraged if you don't hit it right away. It took me a few tries before I got it, but once you start getting the hang of it, you can start duplicating fairly quickly. Now, before we get started, make sure to like the video by pressing that blue thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. Now, what you're going to need is the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, and this time you're going to need a Sultan RS. We actually cannot duplicate the retro custom, so don't even try. You're just going to waste your time. You really will. People have tried, and it's just not working. I even tried. It doesn't work. Now, you're also going to need a 10-car garage with RH8s. You need one RH8 per dupe, and it's got to be full. Make sure you have a full garage. And you don't need custom plates for this. Now, I'm going to show you why I used custom plates, but you really don't need them. It will transfer plates over. There's just something kind of fishy that I don't like about it. And, you know, I'm, I'll explain that uh, later on in the video. Uh, shout out to the founders, the Eastside Boy. And so here we go. So this is the area that I actually have had a lot of success duping the cars with. Now, you can go to Lombank West as well or Del Perro. And this is my location. It's actually one of the spawn locations right here of the MOC so you can actually have it spawn right here for you when you request it so like I said Lombank West around there does work as well around Del Perro it works and I can confirm for sure it works here I've duplicated about four cars and yeah like I said it does work here so here we go now I'm gonna show you a couple fails these are the two th these are literally the two things that happens if you hit it either too fast or too slow okay so now that we have our Sultan RS parked inside of the MOC we're just going to simply make our way to uh, you know, proceed inside the MOC and we're just going to hop into the Sultan RS. Now, once you're in the Sultan RS, you do want to wait till the engine starts and then you want to open up your phone and then hover over the internet. And you're going to simply click on the internet real quick and hold right trigger. That's literally all you got to do. R2 on uh, PlayStation and X on PlayStation as well. So as you can see right here, this means that we were actually too early. We pressed the right trigger way too early after hitting the internet and we just drove out simply with our original car. No dupe was made, nothing like that. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if you're too late to press the right trigger. So once again, we hop in the car, wait till the engine starts, then you're gonna wanna open up your phone, hover over internet, press A, right trigger. Oh, but look at that, I was too late and I ended up just spawning right outside of the car. You don't want that. You just get kicked out of the car very simply. So now here we go. I'm going to show you what happens on the first successful attempt right here. So you saw that, how the screen kind of flickered white and then black again. That is what you want to see. Now, it doesn't always dupe like that. So, you know, if it doesn't work, don't worry about it. You got to go in and try it again. I'll tell you exactly what happens if, with all these fails. But as you can see, we're coming back in here and that's successful. You want the cars to be stacked on top of each other. Now, I'm just going to fast forward through this. I was, you know, taking my screenshot right here and yeah so this is the successful attempt right here this is the exact thing you do want to see you can either go to the for me it works with the front left tire and i simply just wiggle the car right off drive you know forward and i and i go outside now some people get stuck going forward if you do get stuck going forward go backwards okay that is the best tip i can give you you know find out which one works best for you so now i'm going to my full 10 car garage you're going to get that notification that you need to transfer or the alert that you need to transfer a car out of there we're going to be transferring the rh8 and you're going to see it doesn't just replace over it not yet at least so right there there's my dupe inside the garage already and you're just going to want to simply walk out and don't request any personal vehicle or anything like that what you want to do now is actually just hop into a civilian car or if you're close enough to your moc go ahead and run there yourself i kind of had to uh to run over to a civilian car and i had to make my way over to the moc because i'm a little far away so once i come back in here check this out look at what happens here i've never seen a dupe glitch like this this is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie and here we go so you're gonna see right there now check out that plate of the rh8 03 gny that's gonna be the plate that actually transfers over to the sultan rs once we drive out you're just gonna simply get in your sultan rs and drive out and take a look at the plate once we spawn out there 03 gny so that's where the plate transfers that is that is why you don't need custom plates 
Now, in another successful attempt, I'm going to show you why I do like the custom plates on it, you know, ahead of time. So if you do have custom plates, I suggest just using them. You know, I'm, I would never steer you guys wrong. And like I said, you don't need custom plates, but I feel safer using them while duping anyways. Because as you can see right there, you do drive out with the custom plate, but when the car is still in there and you come out with the dupe, it's going to have the same exact plate. Like, you can see the car has the same plate when it's inside the MOC and your dupe is outside. Now, this is an attempt right here that I wanted to show you guys where the car actually glitches the hell out really crazy and I'll show you exactly what to do when this happens to you. So I hit it right there, you know, internet, tap it real quick and then tap the internet really quickly and then right trigger right after that. That's the best advice I can give you. If you hold down on A or X a little too long and then press right trigger, it won't work. You want to just tap on the internet and then right trigger and hold it until you go outside. Okay, so as you can see right here, nothing happened and then all of a sudden I move a little bit and check that out. The car's like completely glitched inside of it, you know, going crazy, this and that. I don't know what to do, so I just kind of, you know, walked over it here, and then it disappeared. I wasn't sure what happened there. This was one of the first times that I actually hit it, and I f didn't really realize it. So I had heard if you just walked outside and then back in a few times, or, you know, once or twice, it should all of a sudden spawn there. So that's exactly what I did. Now, I just walked outside, and I'm just going to simply go right back inside of the MOC. Now, once you go back inside, you're either going to see that the car is still going to be by itself, the original, or in my case, look at that. The car actually did end up spawning right on top of the other one. I didn't have success trying to get into the car, tapping Y right there by the back tire. I had to go to the front tire to tap Y to get into the second car on top. And then I just simply wiggle the car and drive forward. Once again, if you get stuck driving forward, drive backwards. And if you do get stuck, just walk out of the MOC and then go back in. If your car spawns at the docks, so you have to start over again. If your car spawns under the MOC, you have to start over again. You know, there's a few possibilities that can really happen to you here. Now, on this attempt right here, I'm going to go ahead and walk back in. It looks like I successfully hit it, but let's see. Let's find out right here. So as I made my way back into the MOC, I looked and I didn't hit it, even though Every indication said that, you know, it looked like I did get it. I got the flickering white screen, you know, followed by the black screen. You will not get it 100% of the time. Like I said, it's a very unstable glitch. But check this out. So I didn't hit it. I had heard if you moved your MOC a little bit that, you know, or to a different location, it worked. I just wanted to test moving it just like a tad bit forward. So I just went ahead and, you know, maybe drove another 10, 15 feet ahead of me. That was it. Very, very simple. And once I got back in there, I was hoping to see the Sultan RS right there. And unfortunately, it didn't show up, but that's OK. I ended up just going in there and actually starting up the glitch again. So as you see right here, I'm getting back into the Sultan RS, wait for the engine to start, open up the Internet and then tap on A and then right trigger right away. There you go. I got the flickering white screen followed by the black screen. All right. So once we once we come outside of the MOC, I'm going to make my way back in. And remember, if you don't get a dupe, just simply go in and out, try again. And look at that. Just because I moved the MOC a little bit forward, I was able to just hit the glitch first try. So it's very, very unstable. You just have to kind of try out a few things. You got to, you know, drive forward a little bit, you know, maybe go to a different location, take the car out, then back in, um, you know, walk out, walk back in. You just got to play with it. If you're having a lot of trouble and you're just not getting any dupes at all, like that was happening to me before this part of the video, I just went to creator and went to another invite only session and started up again. All right, guys. So once again, you know, it's a very touchy, touchy glitch. It will not work 100% of the time, maybe half the time, maybe not even that many times, honestly, but it's solo and it's not, you know, it's not the hardest glitch in the world. You, you guys can still hit it. Now, also, I wanted to show you guys, you know, another successful attempt right after this, but this is me just driving that car once it duped right back into the, uh, the garage. Now, remember, when you drive into the garage, it needs to be full so that you can actually replace with the RHA. Well, you're not replacing the RHA. You're just transferring the RHA over. So right here, I transferred the RHA. I ended up putting my Sultan RS there. As you can see, I do have three dupes in there, plus the original in my car or in my MOC. So after about, you know, an hour of screwing around with this thing, a lot of trial and error, I was able to get a few dupes. And if you can get really good at it and get quick with it, yeah, it's good. It takes literally, you know, a few seconds to get a dupe. So or to actually successfully get it. But 
So as we make our way in here, I wanted to show you guys once again. And remember, we drove out with that plate. It had my same virus plate on. And now when you come back in here, or sorry, the hunter plate. And now in here, I have the same hunter plate on as well. So that's why I want to use custom plates. Although, as you can see on the RH8, you have the 29 UC uh, plate right there that will transfer over once we drive out. It's... I don't know it's very risky to me just to have any two plates at the same time that are generic you know going on and right there it was able to transfer i have the generic plate from the rh8 so it does work you know once you drive out it's just a little you know it, it, to me it's not worth the risk if you do have custom plates so go ahead and put a custom plate on there so that's gonna be it for me guys my name is roll easy if you have any questions i'm still gonna be testing this a lot so just put them down in the comments and if you enjoyed the video make sure to like it by hitting that blue thumbs up subscribe to me if you're new and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope gta 5 online content i'm out of here guys peace out